Hello and welcome. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Tarot. I do daily tarot readings for our YouTube crowd. If you found this reading today, then it's for you. Every day we ask the cards, what are our opportunities for the day? Today will be a reading for Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. What are our opportunities for Tuesday, December 14th? I do do daily readings. If you like what you see here, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our daily readings. First card for Tuesday is the Hermit. Hermit indicates you're ready for some alone time, some introspection, some meditation. Uh, you wake up feeling the need just to have some time alone and figure out what's going on. Uh, Hermit's an older gentleman. He's been around the block a few times. He understands life. He understands how life works. Um, and he's thinking about how he's done in life. He's looking back, he's looking at the past, thinking about how he's done and how he can do better in the future. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, take some time alone, uh, have a little meditation and contemplation and introspection. Second card for the day is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles indicates you're gonna have to do some juggling. Uh, Pentacles is your finances, your, your job, uh, your comforts. Uh, it looks like you have to do some juggling to keep everything up in the air. Looks like you're doing a very good job. Everyone's pleased. Everyone's watching you. Everyone's smiling. Uh, you're very good at what you do, but you are going to have to do some juggling uh, early in the day on Tuesday. Uh, our third card for the day is the Six of Pentacles. Uh, more cards about your money. Uh, six is a giving or, or a receiving card. Generally in this card, you're the one that's doing the giving. Uh, you're doing well. Uh, you're, you're giving. This is a, a, a very important to give at this time of year, especially. There's a lot of people in need out there. She's obviously in need. She has a small child. It's raining outside. Um, if you have the, the means to give and to share your, your bounty and your wealth with others, please do so. Do so wisely. You can see the, uh, uh, the scales here. So make sure that you make a wise decision as to who you give your money to and who you share your wealth with. Fourth card for the day is the Page of Pentacles. Uh, pages are new messages coming in. Uh, pentacle or it's the Page of Cups. I'm sorry. Uh, pages are new messages. The Cups is your emotions, your water, or your water, and your love and your intuition. So you're going to have a new message late in the day that uh, stirs your intuition, stirs your love, uh, makes you feel real good, makes you feel like you're filling up your cups and getting filled up with love, filled up with emotions. Last card for the day is Temperance. Temperance is a card of balance. Temperance is a card of good health. Uh, temperance is a card of not overdoing everything. If you keep everything in balance, you feel very good about yourself. She has, again, full cups here. She's just been down to the stream. Your intuition is strong. You know where you're heading in the future. You feel very good about it. You feel very healthy about it. You're able to combine the things in your life to, to make uh, make the flowers grow, make the sun come out, and make your path appear. Very clear path as to where you're going into the future, and you feel very good about it. So, Tuesday looks like a fantastic day. You wake up, uh, you know, feeling some the need for a little bit of alone time, do some meditation and then some introspection, um, and you'll feel much better about things. Uh, once you come out of that, you're going to have to do some juggling. Um, there's uh, some things that need your attention, uh, possibly with your money. You might have to juggle some funds around, uh, but, you know, you're very good at this juggling. You might have to juggle something at work or do a couple of different things at work. You're very good at it. You're very, you please everyone that you're juggling in front of. So whatever you're doing here to keep the, keep the balls in the air, you're doing a very good job and you're pleasing everyone. Midway through the day, you're going to have an opportunity to share uh, and do so. Uh, sharing makes you feel good. He, he's feeling good. She's feeling good. Uh, feeling, uh, you know, sharing also helps the people that are in need. Look at this little baby. She certainly needs some, probably needs some food. It looks like he needs some shoes for sure. It's raining outside, so share what you have. Uh, use your wisdom. Use your scales. Make sure when you do share, you're sharing to a good cause and that the money's going to the people that need it. Later in the day, you're going to get a message that stirs your emotions and stirs your love and feels like you're filling up, filling up your emotions and filling your intuition. Uh, this is a new message that comes in. Um, it probably has to do with the sharing. It makes you the more you share, the more you feel like you've filled up your cups and the more you feel like your emotions are full. Um, and the more you feel like you're full and, you know, you feel very balanced late in the day before you go to bed. You feel like you have a very clear path to the future. You're feeling very healthy. 
feeling very able to combine the things in your life, uh, all the all the elements of your life. This introspection you did early in the day really helped to bring things together. Uh, you understand that you have to juggle things sometimes, but you're very good at that. When you share, uh, you feel very good. You end up today feeling very healthy, very balanced with your life, ready to move on into the future in a very bright sky and a clear path. Tuesday looks like a great day. My name's Chuck. I do daily readings. We'll see you tomorrow.